So that's a complete joke. I was at the elections office today. I watched them. The staff allow everybody to see everything they wanted to see. I watched you sit there and look at everything you wanted to see, Patty. They are not hiding stuff from you. They are very transparent. And I knew this was going to happen. Bev was there too, doing the same thing while the election staff is being fully transparent. And yeah, you want to come to the elections commission meeting and act like that's not true, which I knew was going to happen. Because I watched you guys do it in the last election. You guys get in there. I see how Joanna treats you guys, how the staff treats you, how they let you look at everything. They explain so much over and over and over and over again. But that's not your actual goal. Your goal is to find the problem, even if you have to create it yourselves. And that's what you guys are doing. That's what this whole thing is. That's what this whole commission is for. You guys know that your red votes in California aren't going to matter because it's California. So you're screwing with small red counties, elections offices to create problems so that after you guys can then use all these little examples from small red counties so that Trump can push his case to the Supreme Court. And you guys are all participating in this. It sucks to watch. Stephen King's tactic was more than I've, louder than I've ever been in here, but I, he, was, he was right. You guys all created this problem yourselves and you all got rid of Dominion voting machines. We wouldn't be having any of these issues whatsoever. None of these issues with the overspray, anything. None of this would be happening. And our county would be a million dollars richer. But here we are in this stupid little room again with this stupid little commission talking about stupid little things, making things up. When you come right from the elections office, knowing, knowing full well how transparent they are, full well, because I watch you, I watch you watch it. And then you guys come here and you have your little people come and try to say that it's not transparent. It's, that's complete bullshit. I'd like to start uh, by saying something to you, Mike. I've, I've been coming to these meetings for a long time and I wanted to point out that interaction when I was er interrupted, Miss Bridgeford. What she said in her speech was, this, these were her words, that she was referring to Stephen King, the guy that was in here and made the whole scene, made a scene at the ROV's office that I had nothing to do with, I am not his friend. She up here, she said, she, he's a friend of so-and-so, talking about me. She was talking about me. I will be okay with anybody saying whatever they want to up here, but if someone's going to lie about me and I'm in the room, I'm going to say something. They don't, I don't believe they have the right to get up here, even during their three minutes, and slander or libel me. I don't, I not slam, but not libel, but slander me. And that's what she did. So that's why I interrupted. So I just want to let you know that. Um, also, uh, you seem to be offended when I talk about all of you. I apologize for that. I was not meaning you or Mr. Garbutt when I said you, the whole commission. I'm referring to the three in the middle that keep trying to dismantle our elections. That's that's what my, that's what my meaning to that was. So I found it really interesting because I went to a public library last night and had the cops called on me. Yeah, didn't even say anything, walked in, and I felt really interesting that the gentleman back there, I think his name's Dan, was one of the guys helping lead that meeting. He just said up here, if you got nothing to hide, why are you afraid of a camera? Because that's all I had at that meeting last night was a camera. And you guys shut the whole meeting down. You guys interrupted your own meeting. I didn't say anything until you guys all approached me. And then you, Ronnie, and you were like, can we call the cops? What makes you think that you just have the right and the authority to get the police involved just because you don't like someone? That's not how cops work. Even the security guard said himself I wasn't breaking any laws. It was just policy. And the cops didn't say a word to me. Why do you think that is? Because you think the cops love me? The Black Lives Matter guy? You think they love me? No, because I didn't break any laws. You guys are elections commissioners. You can say I was doing it as a private citizen, but we all know that's crap. That's crap. Your elections commissioners giving a training on how to be poll watchers, which my, my assumption is you're training people on how to go mess with election staff workers, and you didn't want anybody to see what you were doing. Clearly, you didn't want anybody to see what you were doing. You could have just continued your meeting, and I wouldn't have had to say said anything. I would have just filmed it to see what was going on. And you guys clearly all had something to hide. So I don't understand these, these powers, this hubris that you guys have, thinking you can do all these things, look at ballots, look, view personal information, you know, nationally wanting, like, 
wanting women to have to do things with their body that they don't want to do. You don't just get these types of powers over other people. Our election staff is fine, and the only problem with our elections is you three in the middle and everyone that supports you.